Yo, what's up guys? Shroy here from Just Another Style Channel coming back you guys again with another video today. Today's video is going to be the Fall Winter 2018 Supreme Week 2 drop list. I'm going to go over the price points, the items, and all that good stuff with you guys and give you guys my opinions on it. So without further ado, let's get into this video and let's get into these items. So today I'm going to be using Supreme Community to show you guys these items. I'm going to have it up in the corner over here as I talk about each one. And as you guys can see, I did fix up my setup a little bit. I will get into that in another video and another time for you guys. So I usually use Supreme Community, Drops by J, and Supreme Leaks for all my Supreme related information. Drops by J and Supreme Leaks for any early information. And then my drop lists, I go to uh, Supreme Community for those and to see what people are liking, what people are messing with, and what they're not. So let's get into it and let's give you my opinions on each one. Alright, so the first item we have up is the Water Arc Hooded Sweatshirt for $148. I'm probably not going to go for this item. $148 is the standard price for the hoodies. Uh, in my opinion, the red, white, and black are really cool. Gray is cool as well. Green looks a little Christmassy to me. It's just like supreme with little bubbles around it. That's why it's the Water Arc logo. It looks similar to the Chanel Arc logo. Uh, in terms of resale, I don't think it's going to be a really, really like poppin' item just because Overall, it just looks kind of eh. It's basic Supreme Spellout on it. Supreme Spellouts do good. If you're in the States, maybe go for it. It'll have some resale to it for some of the good colors like red and white and like I said, black maybe as well, just because those are like standard colors and they'll probably do well. So overall, if you're going for this item, it's a hit or miss in my opinion. But public opinion seems to show that a lot of people do like this item, so it might have some resale to it if you are in the States. So go for those items and you know, stock exit right away because that's what you guys love to do anyways. Going on to the Supreme uh, Step Ladder. Now this item was one of my items I was really going for. I really like this item overall. I thought this would, item would actually help me look like average height for once, you know? Like I was going to be average height for once. I wasn't going to be 5'4". I was going to be like 5'6", 5'8". I could walk around with this all day, you know? But all jokes aside, um, this item is really cool, but I knew the branding on this item would make it expensive, and I was correct uh, when I went over the lookbook stuff. It is $228 USD and 198 euros. So that means that this item after duties, taxes, and shipping, and then convert it to Canadian would be $410 Canadian, meaning the max I could sell it for is $500 if someone wants to get it for that expensive price, you know? So if you're in the States or if you're in Europe, like, you know, if you actually go to the store and pick this up, probably one of those items that would do good over time as well. But in Canada, I don't think this is going to have the immense resale that it will in the States. I can see this item reselling for maybe $300, just the way StockX is going with items these days. So don't be surprised if you see this for 300 or really close to retail. But in the long term, I feel like this item is going to go up over time. Great branding, great ladder, great quality. Just not the price point for me, so I don't know if I'll be doing a live cop for this particular item. Now going on to the Split Logo SS Top. Now this one is eh, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, the only two colors I do like, however, are the yellow and baby blue one which dropped week one with the Split Chanel Arc logo and then the white and black because you know I always wear black tees or white tees and that's just kind of what I go for in the base so those two colors go well together. The green and pink looks like you're a walking watermelon and the other two colors just don't mesh that well. Going on to Supreme Nike SB Gatos in about four colorways they're dropping white, baby blue, red and black so those four colorways overall trash shoe. But I like how Nike and Supreme always has collabs on different silhouettes and they don't saturate the market with the same single silhouette every single season. My favorite ones out of all the silhouettes have been the Fives and also the Blazers. So those two collaborations were cool. Even last season, like Running Shoe with the Flames on it was decent, not that bad in the white colorway if it was your style. But overall, this is like a really missed shoe in terms of resale. Don't go for this at all. Personal, if you know it stays true to the skating brand with the SBs, because that's what Supreme is. In that sense, it is a good shoe in the true roots and essence of Supreme, but overall silhouette and style of the shoe, eh, it's pretty trash. And you could probably find this eventually. Don't be surprised if you find this in a Nike outlet store at some point. Now going on to the vertical logo stripe LS top. Now this one is a pretty basic top, just as Supreme going down the side on the left side of the shirt. I won't be going for this item. It's $110, pretty expensive. Uh, Supreme branding on it, not that bad, but it's just one of those basic items that I don't really mess with. A lot of people are kind of mixed on it. It's pretty fairly even. So personal cop, yes, resell, no. Red and black will probably sell out first. And then you'll probably see white, green, and blue go after that. The baby blue color on the Gatos doesn't look too bad. I don't want to touch on it too much. I actually like it more than the white. So that the red one's kind of really bright. I don't mess with the red as much as I do with the baby blue. It's not that bad if you go for the full look. 
Going on to the military cam cap, it is a decent cam cap price. Um, it's $40. Cam caps always do okay for personal cops in terms of resale. They don't do what they used to do back in the day. Black and the camel color is actually not bad at all. The other two are kind of eh, but overall, nice cap, nice cam cap. They don't look good on me. But if you are into cam caps, feel free to go for this item. It is really cool. Really dope to see that pattern on it. The black is always basic and it has a nice red box logo on it as well. So, you know, if you're into Supreme, you like that, go for it. The tri-hooded uh, sweatshirt, now the tri-color one, um, the white one just looks like a basic white hoodie, don't go for that at all. In terms of resale, I don't think it's going to do that great. It has some old English Supreme font embroidered into the front over here. Um, out of the three colors, I like the one that is least shown over here the best, so I would say it is the one with the green, maroon, and blue. It is a really cool colorway, the other one's not bad either. But this is more, once again, a personal cop. Going on to the vampire hooded sweatshirt, I didn't really mess with this like design at all, and it doesn't seem like a lot of people were either, because it has a lot of dislikes to like ratio on it. And yeah, I can just see it's like a basic like Supreme hoodie just slapped on with a different print on it. So, I don't think it's gonna resell a lot. Black seems cool if you want a black Supreme hoodie, but besides that, it's not that great. And one thing to note about this hoodie is that it's actually 158, so it's more than the Water Arc one. So um, probably better off going with the one with the largest Supreme branding on it if you want a Supreme hoodie compared to this one, paying $10 more for a weird, obscure print that I don't know what it is to be honest with you. The black gatos just look really crappy. Um, I do like the purple and black contrast, but that big check mark on it, everything, it just too outlandish, just looks kind of weird for me. Going on to the studded beanie. Now the Supreme branding on this dope, I just don't mess with studs personally. I don't think a lot of people do considering the amount of dislikes on it because it's almost double the likes. But you know, overall it's not bad. I actually don't think this is a bad item, not a personal item for me. But I can see the, all these colors doing really well. To be honest, the red one pops the most. It kind of reminds me of the Scarface font they use just because it has that similar style to it. But overall, I think this beanie will do well and will sell out. Um, just not as well as it is for resale, but like for personal cop, this is pretty cool. Just the studs on it, but there's a lot of other beanies dropping this season that probably will do better, especially the BOGO beanies that will drop later on this season. Going on to the crown logo beanie, now this one is cheaper than the other one, which is 36 This one is $26. As Supreme, like in an arc font on it, it looks similar to a backwards font on it. That's what it reminds me of, and once again, it's a basic beanie. I don't think it's going to do as well as the other beanies dropping this season, but we'll see how it goes. It's not bad, there's a lot of hate on it, but it's not a bad beanie overall if it's a personal cop. Going on to the velour track jacket, I know there's track pants as well. My favorite color out of the three has to be the blue and red, but you can find this in Finish Line, Champs, Foot Locker, you know, Foot Action, all those places. You can find an Adidas, Puma, Fila, whatever you want, just find a velour track suit. They're not that hard to find. I think even H&M had them at one point, and it's not worth it to spend $128 on a track top. Just wear a little bit of Supreme branding on it. You can probably find this in better colors and ones you actually like in stores. So, you know what? You can see by the amount of hate on it, people don't really mess with it. You could probably get the full tracksuit if you wanted to. I do feel like the blue and the red one will sell out first, and then the olive green and black one will sell out last. So this is one of those items that if you don't mess with it, don't go for it in terms of resale. Personal cop is kind of cool, but you can find this anywhere at your local like clothing store. Going on to the cashmere sweater, $248 for a cashmere sweater from Supreme, not worth it. You can go to Uniqlo and find it for a lot less, and a lot of other stores out there. So don't waste your money on a Supreme cashmere sweater. It's not the flex you want to go for, save it for a more, um, like a more nicer item that you can actually flex, like maybe go for some Louboutins or something like that, you know, save it towards something nicer. I don't know if you really want to go on that flex, but I don't know why I said Louboutins, that's the first thing that came to head, but cashmere sweater from Supreme, that's a drop right there. Going on to the next item, we have the Ohm tea over here. Now this is something you could probably find at any like hippie store. In my area, I would probably go to like Kensington Market for something like this and I could find it for like $10 and that's like the max price I would pay for something like this. I wouldn't even go for this more of a personal, but if you want to go for something like this, just go to like a small little store or like a hippie-esque store and you'll find it there for sure. Like the red one's cool, black one acid wash, and I do like the red one better, but I wouldn't wear something like this anyways and $78 for this is a lot. You could find this at any little store. And judging by the like this like ratio, not a lot of people would like it either. With the leather trucker jacket, now it's a leather jacket, so it's gonna be really expensive and it's not gonna be a good expensive just because it has no branding on it whatsoever. You can't tell it's supreme unless it has some type of branding on the back that is not shown over here. So I'm gonna try to see if there is anything like that on this one, but it doesn't look like there is anything. Yeah. Um there's actually nothing on the back at all. So that's pretty interesting to see. Um yeah, nothing on the back, so that's going to be interesting in terms of resale. I don't think it's going to do that great overall just because it's a pretty plain standard jacket. And a leather trucker, I don't know how I really feel about that. The colors are cool, but I wouldn't pay that much for a Supreme leather jacket. It's probably going to be at least $300, $400 based on average price of leather jackets that Supreme dropped in the past. 
So don't expect this to be under like $400. It could even touch $500, $600 because it's all leather. So this is an instant drop right away, not a resell item. And if you want a leather jacket, go find it at Danier's or any other Burlington Coat Factory, anywhere else where you want to find a leather jacket. You can probably find a designer one for an equal value compared to this one or even a non-designer one with a similar style for a lot less. Going on to the Global 5 panel hat. Cool branding on it, not for me, so I'm just gonna go over this item. Like, it's not worth talking about too much. Sick colors, if you like hats and you like supreme branding on it, this is more of like a five panel, so a fitted basically. So if you like fitted, this is probably the way to go for this hat. Going on to the next hat, which would be the Preach Mesh Back five panel hat. Now this one just looks like an average trucker hat with like a little gospel verse on it. It says John uh, 316 on it, so that has a whole verse on there. And yeah, I'm just gonna pass on this hat. I don't think a lot of people like it, it's a little preachy. Hence the Preacher Mesh hat. You could probably find this at a thrift store or something like that. From any like church donations or anything like that, you'll probably find someone that's donated something very similar to this, but for not an expensive price like this. You could probably find it for like three, four dollars. Don't spend forty dollars on something you can find for four bucks. The diamond rayon bomber jacket, overall, I don't like the style of it and I don't think a lot of people like it either. So instant drop right there. Um personal wise, you can find this anywhere. I don't even think I'll pick this up if it wasn't Supreme. So that just goes to show, you know, sometimes don't buy it just because it's supreme, you know. Overall, this week is not looking that great so far. I've touched on the tracksuit in general and what my favorite colors are, so I'm going to skip over the pants because it's the same thing. You can find it at the stores I mentioned previously. And now with this vampire denim print that they have repeatedly used, uh, for a denim zip-up shirt, go to your Zara or H&M, you can find it there. Um, for these colors, not necessarily, maybe you'll find black, white, and red, I don't know about brown. But it's not worth it for this little vampire-esque logo on it that's really seemed to have bumped up the price. Or just because of that little logo. I'm not a fan of this, so I'm gonna skip it right away. And then, yeah, not even gonna talk about the hats either because I don't like the logo. I don't know what it is. And yeah, maybe I'll look into it later on. Maybe I won't because I'm not really interested in this item. But um, I don't really mess with the font overall, so I'm just gonna skip it. And yeah, I don't really like the logo in general. And yeah, this hat's just a basic hat. There's a lot better hats I've dropped. I would probably rank. The Preach as the worst, and this is the second worst. And now going on to the cargo pants. Now you can find better cargo pants for a lot less. Um, if you want like camo hunting pants or like cargo pants, just go to Walmart. You can find them in the hunting goods section if you're in the States. I'm um, sure you'll find cargo, like, you know, woodland camo pants there for a lot less than $138. And if you want to spend that much, go to Mark's Warehouse or something like that. You'll find a lot better quality for a lot less price for a pair of cargo pants in any of these colors. And now going on to the final item for the week, which is going to be the phone booth keychain. Now this one is unseen, so I don't know how it's going to look, but I will instantly say I am not going for this. If you're from the States and you like to collect keychains, go for it. It might be a cool item to add to your collection. For me in Canada, I would pay $20 instantly right there on shipping alone duties and taxes so this $14 keychain is going to come up to about like $50, $60 right away and I'm not spending that much on a single keychain. If anything and the only item I plan on going for this week is probably going to be the stepladder which I mentioned earlier that I probably will not go unless I get a pre-order or something like that. Overall my thoughts on the week are it is not the best week ever but it's only week two and they dropped a lot of items week one. It always happens that sometimes you know Week one takes a lot of hype and then week two, you know, doesn't live up to the expectations that a lot of people have, but it always happens, you know? And I, we will see what happens with the first collab in terms of collabs overall. I thought they were going to drop the Vans week, this week, but they went with the Gatos. And the Gatos overall are not a public, like, you know, the public has said they're not messing with the shoe. So in terms of resale, don't go for it. The only two items that I can actually see reselling this week is probably going to be the Water Arc Hooded Sweatshirt and also the Supreme Step Ladder, Supreme Step Ladder Long Term, and then Low Resale for the Water Arc logo. Who knows, I might be wrong on this, but that's just my opinion. And yeah, if anything, I'll be going for this, and we'll see what happens if I do record a live cop. I will probably try to, or at least log on and see what happens, just because Supreme doesn't allow you to cancel orders anymore, so that kind of does limit me, and I have to actually think more logically and carefully on what I order. But for you guys out there that are in the States, go for this item, long-term hold if you can, hold on to it. Definitely worth it, and it's going to be like the life jacket and the kayak and all that other stuff. It's those big items. And you never know, there might be some production quality problems in store only and then this thing could shoot up. You never know, that happens all the time these days. So that's my opinions for this week. All right, so that concludes the video for this week, guys. Let me know what you guys think of my opinions and everything I've mentioned down in the comment section below and what you might be going for this week or what do you think of this week overall. So let me know that also down in the comment section below. And yeah, so I've recorded this video about three times now because my camera's been acting up and I've actually got through it successfully. So hopefully I'm still energetic and I've mentioned everything in the detail I wanted to when I recorded the first three times. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Share it, like it, do whatever you gotta do. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.